So we're up here at the Grani now, and Sean's having a little look to see if he can see a moose. Look on the ledges, you might see a cougar. <laughs> it's not perfect going up here yet, but it's not bad. There's a hole down here, and I tell you guys, every time I film it, that uh, we're, we ride on, you know, 15, 20 feet of snow. And, and that, that'll drift in right across there, a big drift, and we'll be on 15, 20 feet of snow here most winters, you know? Right now, we're on the windswept part of the, the, the ridge line of the hill, see? So you gotta be careful picking your way through because there's, it could be a little bit of rocks. We'll cut across over here now and work our way up that way. See all the way down to the bay. What do you see, Sean? Not much to look at, boy. It was a beautiful sunny morning, but now she's clouding over real, real bad. I thought we were going to get some, uh, some good quality video. And I'm going to uh, attach the ram mount to that, but just a clamp. I'm not putting the extension on because with the even a single extension, it vibrates too much. Unwatchable, I find. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think? We'll go here, we'll hit the, uh, the groom trail, and head over to uh, 38. I haven't been up 38. I haven't been up there since they cut it out. I, I don't even know what I'm going to get myself into up there. I'll get lost. Hard to believe when you when you when you know a country and then then they come in they clear cut it and you you lose all your land points or all your landmarks. All right, we'll follow him for a bit. So I think this is a pretty good camera angle right here. It will be a lot better if I stay standing up with my right foot on the right running board and my left knee on the seat but I'm just trying out some different mount different mount positions to try and give you guys a really good view of what it's like to be snowmobiling here in the remote province of Newfoundland for those who don't know where Newfoundland is we are an island province in the North Atlantic and we get some pretty extreme weather here but when the weather is all calm and settled down it sure makes for some great snowmobiling adventures we still don't have the amount of snow that we would normally have this time of year it's been a really mild winter for the most part. But now we are able to make it up through the Grani Trail. And you, you need a bit of snow here because you, you got to be able to get up over to Tuckamores and stuff, right? And there's still a couple of little tricky spots there. I guess what I might do is... Uh, even before I start the other trails, I might come up and, and cut out some of those Tuckamores. Just so that we can get up over them a lot, a lot better, you know. Sometimes we need four or five feet of snow in certain places that we can get the scooter up over top of uh, some of the, some of the brush. So, a little bit of uh, work to do, but once you get it cut out and you give the snow a pat straight to ground then you got a good solid uh, base to ride on when you're relying on snow being hung up into Tuckamores and for miles to settle that snow down to the ground you know because sometimes it gets hung up on the branches and you need a mile to take the snow off the trees and, and down the ground and then the next snowfall and, until you got a good base layer but if you got it going straight to ground, then you always got a good base layer. Whether you got five feet of snow or a 
a foot and a half of snow, you can come up through. Right now, we the trail needs a fair amount of snow in certain areas in order to give you safe passage. And I got to take the, the trail away from the, the runoffs. Knock down a few trees here and there, limb up the rest, and uh, we should have a, a pretty decent trail. Might be a job for uh, the springtime. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with, with this angle. You can, you can hear I uh, dimmed the sound down. I lowered this, the actual sound just because there was a bit of a rattle coming from the lid of the box I built. Normally I wrap tape around the little clasp so it draws it in a little tighter. But I'm also getting a little rattle from the hitch. The sleigh hitch. It will uh, flap around freely, you know, and gives you a little metallic rattle. But overall, it's it's not too bad of a position for the camera. I just, uh, when I'm in the seated position, unfortunately, my elbow blocks a lot of the view. But if I was to go to a standing position, standing and kneeling, it, uh, it would give you guys a pretty decent view of what's actually happening. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to see what's happening on the right-hand side, but you get a pretty decent view nonetheless. Lots of fresh powder. People cut in here and, and play in that little section of the trail so they can carve around a little bit. Go down and hit the 38 trail? Yeah, you gonna keep filming? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are heading over towards 38 Trail right now. We are up on the south side of Bottle Mash. And you can see some of the uh, landscape off there in the distance. The big level up there, straight ahead. It was a cold day, very cold, and it didn't bother me going up through the Grani, you know, because we're taking our time and we were well protected, but when you started getting out on, on the Groom Trail and you started hitting over on the bog leads there, like when we hit the Kostas levels there on the 38 Trail, it's going to get pretty cold. The first uh, guy on the sled there, he held up three fingers letting me know that there was three more sleds coming behind him. Working our way down to the 38 turnoff. I had to tuck in, my face is getting cold. <laughs> I never wear them. <laughs> That's why I thought Zuber was cold right off. When, when uh, you know, when it's under minus 20, I, I never wear it. But... Yeah, I'm going to tuck in behind there a bit. That's all. Right? I'm just going to tuck in behind there a bit. Yeah. That's still running on when there's a two hole. No, it's still recording. Okay. You see Buddy on my side of the road there? On our side of the road? Yeah. yeah. And off we go again, heading towards the 38 Trail, which got across Cold Brook here. Bridge coming up really soon. I would say Sean's probably on the bridge right about now. There it is. That brook runs down behind the house. And this is what they call the Y. Some people call this the Y. Uh, you can 
go left on up to the Louise Hills or take the right and go in towards Glance. And that's where we're going now. We're going towards Glance on what is known as the 38 Trail. The trail was a little rough, but on the way out, uh, the groomer was on the way in, you know. We didn't get to see the groomer because we went off and did a little bit of scouting. And I, uh, I found a spot up here, actually, where I found a nice little pocket of rabbits. So I'm going to head back up there with the snare pens one of these days and catch a few rabbits and, and do a little bit of winter camping at the same time. Set up my pens on the inside and camp on the outside. That way I know who's going in and around by the pens, you know. Hey. Now we're going to come up around the trail. Sean stopped right there, so we were starting to see a little bit of moose sign, you know. The first little bit we seen was old, but then we got into some fresh stuff. And it just so happened on the way back, we seen a cow and a calf. John's looking for a moose and he's looking at all the animal tracks here now. Much more moose tracks. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to tuck in behind the windscreen there because he has no gun around. And mine is 20, uh, 22 or 23. over here. Hey. Yeah, I just uh, warm my face a bit.
This is my first look at this area since we started there. You just dropped me off here right now. I wouldn't even know where I was. I can't believe how much wood it is. If, if somebody just come here and drop me off right here, I wouldn't even know where I was. I tell you, it's it's nuts. I mean, Crooked Lake is just right there. You never know it. Yeah. You'd never be able to see it. Unbelievable. But, uh, should give a big shout out to Timmy Hernet for putting all these uh, markers. Yeah. Otherwise, the guru would not have come through. Wow. So he Good took job. that upon himself. Timmy Good Hernet. job, Timmy. Yeah. Well, it worked that. He had them up once and the snow went and he had to put them back up again. Yeah. Probably two or three times. This is unbelievable. Crazy, eh? Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, we're almost at Wayne's camp now. We gotta, we gotta get in there and see yeah. what's going on. Not too, too bad. Not too bad. Can you believe it? Eh? <laughs> I, I, uh, no, I, uh, my God. Quiet. What? <laughs> Them four strokes are so quiet, eh? I said I gotta go and take a little break. You know, I lost my sleigh coming in. Go away. Yes. How do you have your pin? That old freaking pin there, but I fixed it, I drilled it. I, I, I put it in the upside down. Me too, yeah. Yeah, I I, yep. I went back. She was, this thing here was our need of her. Yes, why, yeah. Well, anyway, no, no, what I got done, I drilled it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the second time I lost that, you know? I always, with my sleigh like this, I push my pin upside down and I'll ride right up tight. Yeah, I don't know what gain it would be. Just when you ride your sleigh? Huh? With the, with the pin upside down, when you're riding it, it always push the pin out. Yeah, I don't know why. It pushes the pin, or like, huh? yeah, like that? No, well, you, well, you, like right now. No, you, the down. head of it, I always put it on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And she'll jam her right up yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, that's what I should do too. But I got, a, I, I drilled it and got a pin in it. Yeah, it won't come now. She, so one is that way, it, the pin rises? It makes good sense. It, yeah. I don't know why it does it, but it I don't works. know, I don't, I don't, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, I can't explain the logic behind it, but it works. Yeah. We came in well, one uh, some, uh, some tool. <laughs> there must be some difference there, Charlie. Well, uh, I, uh, this is my first time going down through there. Lord. Uh, I can't believe how uh, oh, much. man, oh, man. I tell you, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yeah. How's it going? Huh? On real wing, buddy. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. I might even put down in there. I just let it go right in the freaking ground. Huh? 
Some of you call it Pickle Hill or Simon's Ridge. Hang on. And, and a girl stuck in the snow. So, Did he ever tell you that? Yeah. We can walk right off the roof now with so much snow. Over and I, uh, and uh, still to lots of snow to go. You got to level first, just put her in the hole more. Okay. So it's right and then uh, you got to level. Good job, Wayne. Yep. Alright, right. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Well, they were trying to lift it, eh? Hey? Yeah. You can walk. Comes on the front You can walk. You can drive a scooter up there now. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. On the 38 trail, <laughs> it's my first time here since they cut it out. And I'm gonna tell you what, I, I don't know if I would have uh you taken me out there somewhere and dropped me off and asked me where I'm to other than seeing the landmarks, you know, like Ron Pot and stuff like that there. Uh, and the Bedek look offs and stuff like that there. Uh, if I couldn't see the landmarks, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't have a clue where I was, Sean. That's crazy. I would, I would, this has all changed to me. This was a beautiful, beautiful trail. All mature forest, but they, they got her warmed, I guarantee you. Now, it, you know, it probably needed to be cut because the, the wood was probably 60, 70 year old or more. But still, they, uh, they could have took it out in patches or something and left some trees, you know? <laughs> Hard to believe, hey? Yeah, they do. Well, I guess if they go through the expense of putting in a road in, though, I guess they got to take it out. You but still. What? Man, oh man. Can't yeah. She's uh, kind of uh, empty and barren there. I can't believe that. We're going to get fogged in now going across, but... I gotta get out anyways and uh, get the, get some work done. Working on uh, caulking the, the bathroom and had it done pretty good. But then I started picking at it once it got a little too tacky and I shagged it up. Should have left well enough alone. <laughs> <laughs> and I know better. <laughs> but you think, oh, I can get that, I can do that. Can't do it, Sean. Can't do it. <laughs> 